Microsoft recently announced a new way to essentially have your skills verified by Microsoft. They even give you like a certificate. And I think it's really cool. It's going to be something that you can do in addition to your certifications and in addition to the projects. So I have a feeling that they'll probably fit in right after you do your certifications and then you do these things that are called applied skills and then move into projects or maybe vice versa, something like that. So let's switch to the screen and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I shared this on Twitter a couple of days ago, but I wanted to make a proper video. I'll make sure to link the blog post in the description. But as you can see here, it says announcing Microsoft Applied Skills, the new credentials to verify in-demand technical skills. You can read through all this. I would like to take a minute to just look at this diagram that they have here. And we can make this a little larger, right? There we go. Okay. So we're pretty much used to Microsoft certifications, right? Cloud certifications in general, but this is specific to Microsoft. We know that certifications validate broad technical proficiency. So think of something like the AZ-104 where it's cloud admin, right? At an associate level. It's role-based, again, the 104 cloud admin. And I'm just using this as an, as an example. There are a bunch of Microsoft certifications. Breadth of skills, it's an exam with interactive elements and it's scheduled, it's also proctored. Whereas this new thing called Microsoft Applied Skills validates one specific skill and this, I love that it's project-based, it's lab-based, it's on-demand, and it's uh, meant to validate scenario-specific skills, which, which are awesome. Now, there's a list of applied skills that they announced already. It's somewhere here. Okay, here we go. Whoops, go down more. So they announced all of these here. A lot of them seem to be developer admin focused. But they did mention that at Microsoft Ignite, they'll be releasing a few more, uh, a lot of AI and SQL ones, which all the rage these days. Now, something that I did find interesting here is this line right here. Available now offered at no cost for a limited time. So that's the key. I don't know how much these are going to cost in the future, but now they're available for free. So if I were you, I'd go and do as many as these as I can. Now, I've done a few already. I was about to do this one, configure secure access to your workloads using Azure Networking. Uh, we'll look at this one and then we'll look at the other ones that are available. You take the assess assessment and it, launch it launches you straight into a lab. I don't know if anyone ever used Linux Academy before, but do you remember those lab environments that Linux Academy had built into your learning uh, like path? It's very similar to that. I've, I'll walk through the ones that I've done but it's pretty cool because it gives you at a glance the level, the role, the product that you're going to be hands-on with in the subject. There's an overview, there's tasks that you're going to be completing, and it also gives you all the content that you need to prepare for the assessment. And this is all baked into Microsoft Learn. And all the Learn content is free. You can just like, for example, let's click on this. You see it's going to take you 36 minutes. You can start and it tells you even more of a granular detail of what the specific module is going to show, uh, show you how to do. Now, it tells you a couple of rules and a bunch of other things, right? Now, uh, I have done a few of these. I'm, like I mentioned, I'm going to do that configure secure access to your workloads using Azure Networking. Uh, I did the develop an ASP.NET Core web app that consumes an API. And also, uh, I did the secure storage for Azure files and Azure blob storage. These things are really, really neat. Really neat. As soon as you launch the assessment, it brings up a lab. You got to log into it. It has tasks that you need to complete and it, you can open up like docs.microsoft.com. So it's open book. You don't have to memorize absolutely everything. And I went through them as if I were trying to accomplish a task that was assigned to me. It was honestly pretty challenging. A lot of these were pretty challenging, even though, and I selected the ones that I have experience with just to make sure that these weren't just like a walk in the park. And the first one I did with this was the storage one. Not gonna lie, there was a task or two in there that I was like, oh my goodness, no idea how to do this. But luckily you can go and just search up docs or search up anywhere you want to on how to how to step through it, just like you would in a real like job. So I think they're pretty cool. And 
yeah, I, I will link all of these, all of these links in the description. And I think, uh, yeah, like I mentioned, get as many as you can now while they're free. And I'm hoping they're pretty affordable. I, I, I mean, I don't know, but I, I can see them being less than the cost of certifications or maybe they'll bake them in like for a certification you can get to applied skills. I don't know. Something like that would be cool. I, again, don't really know. Uh, but I just figured this is something I want to share. Uh, ah, and as far as like how to fit these into your learning journey, let's take a look at that. So we're back to how to get a cloud job diagram. I'll have a link in the description if you want to get this diagram. It's like, I can't, I think I changed the price to like $9.99 or something like that, but you can just take a pause and take a screenshot. Uh, but if you want to support me and support the fact that I never have sponsors on this channel because I value you your, my audience way too much. Pick up a copy of the diagram. And yeah, anyway. So I have also talked about this self-taught framework to get into cloud. Essentially what I recommend, two certs, two projects, and one year entry level experience. And you follow that, you follow sort of that progression as an associate level certification, a project that implements that, then a complementary certification and a project that implements the complementary certification. So I can also see it being something like associate level cloud certification, applied skills, and then a project. So it'd be maybe like one and then two would be applied skills and then three would be the project. Or you could do the project, then the applied skills, something like that I think would be awesome. Uh, again, I guess it's kind of interesting to see how they're going to price this kind of stuff. Um, and I think we're probably going to see stuff like this be implemented across the board with other, uh, cloud certifications, not just specific to Microsoft. They just seem to be the first ones doing something, um, making something like this available, but I'm sure we'll see it across other types of certifications as well in terms of like the cloud ones. I know for security and in other spaces, this is already a thing that exists. Uh, but any move towards having more lab based ways of verifying your skills is a win in my book. So yeah, let me know which ones you are going to do. If you've done some already, let me know which ones you've done in the comment, in the comments. <laughs> uh, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.